it's over there. I just... Oh! What was that? Oh my god! Dude, something was walking over there! I heard footsteps again, but it was closer. Were you recording? Yeah, and it just, you, you flung the phone out of my I'm hand. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, there was footsteps really close to us right then and there. Might be a possibility that this is like already into like a second part. If it is, make sure you go back to the first video. When the original settlers, English settlers came, they settled in Yorktown and they came out this way and they just like spread out. The very first settlers that came here to this area, kind of kicked out some of the Native Americans, and this was very sacred land. There was a trading post by the road, and there's been some, some things that they did find on the property, a lot of artifacts dating back, I mean, thousands of years. They've had archeologists come here, dig up bodies from a burial ground, and I did share that in the other video. Looks like somebody was burning some. They had a regular day tour, then they had the Boy Scouts come and go fishing, and then they had an overnight tour. So this is where, during the day tour, somebody left a hippo, stuffed animal, for as a piece of, like an, as a gift. Right. And when the Boy Scouts came, they took the little stuffed animal and stuff, and then they stuck it inside there, just so that way none of the kids like moved it and messed with it, and then they were gonna put it back. They said they that- said the ground was on fire. They, yeah, somebody called from the overnight thing and said that the ground was on fire. Oh no, it was the Boy Scout people. It was during the day. Yeah, the Boy Scout guy called and said, hey, um, so your ground's on fire. Now, when I was conducting some of my research on this place, I went on YouTube and checked out a couple people that had came here to film beforehand. And my boy Exploring with Josh did a video here. I think it was like a year ago, him and RNK. And I was like, dang, really? Like they came here? That's so awesome. And I watched their video and they really didn't get to come visit here. I mean, they did, but they didn't. So they made a video where they, they were in town, I guess they were on a little road trip, and they wanted to get permission, like, you know, like we got permission to be here, but they weren't, they weren't able to get a hold of the owners. So Josh flew his drone during the day, you know, and he got some really nice drone shots. Like, I'm going to get some drone shots too. In fact, if you already seen those drone shots, I probably filmed them tomorrow if we do end up staying the, the entire night and don't get spooked out. I'm going to grab my spirit box. And I'm going to show you the ticket booth. A man was thrown out, and ju not just him, a few people were. A lady went in and was locked in. A lady got locked in. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, there's a lot of mud here. Oh, no. Check out my shoes. They doing the job. My pants are soaked up. Yeah, there's been a lot of shows that have been shot here and they've turned down a lot of shows too i mean it's one thing i love about the owners is they're not materialistic they're not about money proceeds that they get here they donate it to charity and i mean they just volunteer their time and they love the history yeah ghost adventures they didn't let in they didn't let zach in because he yells a lot and he didn't yeah. want they didn't want him to yell at the children which yeah. is good because you shouldn't yell at children that is pretty good especially children who have went through such tragedy this is a cool little picnic area. So you know why I'm wearing this hat? The whole way I was walking my head down, so I wouldn't see anything. Cover your eyes? Yeah. Don't judge me. I don't care. You ain't out here. You don't know how it is. It's scary. You look beautiful. Thanks. Pretty spiffy yourself there, handsome. Oh, thanks. right there to the bus, like the back part. Oh my god, I see it. <gasps> what the f There's something in that bus. Bring the light. Hello? The guy did say that people try to come out here and like trespass on the property. But he said he has cameras at the front. Hello?
I don't see anybody. I did see something though. Yeah, I seen something moving in there. Hello? There's nobody in here. Oh look, there's a slide right there. That's the slide where somebody took a picture and there was there was a little boy at the end of the slide. Try to take some pictures. See if you can catch some. Is that the ticket booth? Yeah. Yeah, there's something that lives in that ticket booth. And it protects this, this area for sure. So I saw this paranormal investigator group. They had a little video. I'm not sure if it's on a website, maybe Facebook or whatnot, but they were communicating with a spirit using that windmill. On demand, they were making that windmill stop and go. And it was going really fast. It was so cool. Let's see if we can make that happen. Wasn't there a woman that got locked in there too? Yeah. And she couldn't get out? Mm-hmm. There's the... What is that inside? Somebody hung a, a stuffed animal in there. And they said that the head ended up like disappearing over time. If there's any spirits here with us, move that windmill. Please. Pretty please? Use your energy. Move that for us. Just to show that you're here. Look, 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 look. Yes. It's going back and forth. Come on, move it really fast for us. Come on. Go ahead, move it, move it again. Move it again. Thank you so much for showing us. Oh my God. That's so cool. It was going back and forth That's though. That's so awesome. Which means that, I mean, wind had to be coming from this way and that way. Mm -hmm. Or there is something there. Oh, where is it? Do you have the, the meter? <gasps> oh, oh, look, 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 oh, look, look. Awesome. Go ahead, move it, move it for us. Honestly, you don't even have to. What you just showed us was beautiful, and we're very, very thankful. We're thankful for you. Oh, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. That's that's amazing. Dude, that's insane. There was a thump like right next to me right now. Look, 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 look. Oh, that's so great. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can push it. Go ahead and push it for us. Look, look, look. That thing keeps going off. The EMF. Oh, that's Yo, that so Yo, that is awesome. awesome. It's crazy. It's like right when we came up, it was, it was just completely dead. Like it wasn't even moving until we asked it to. Thank you so much. All right, we're not gonna disturb you anymore. Thanks for moving that for us. Legit, one of the coolest things I've experienced in a long time during an investigation. The way that it was like moving back and forth too. Mm -hmm. And look, it's not even moving anymore. Yeah. We didn't ask it to move and it's not moving anymore. And that's how we found it when we came up on, on it. That was so cool. That was cool, <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't creepy or anything. I mean, it's like... Oh, you don't feel any like... No, we should... That's do really a spirit good. box session in there i don't know i wouldn't i don't want to push it tiffany's been a little scared since we got here and i'm I, normally i'm cool with it because i want to hear things but for some reason i'm like i don't know i'm like really reluctant on it for some reason oh yeah because there's so many multiple spirits that could be haunting this this area i mean you have all the the native american it's spirits 
protecting protecting their mm-hmm. their their haunting area haunting it doesn't have to necessarily mean a negative haunt dude that thing's moving in there yeah it's been swaying oh is this the lake where the boy drowned the boy. okay just, oh yeah sad. this is it wow look that's not hasn't moved yeah. anymore since we stopped asking it to move if you ever come out here make sure to experience that windmill because I don't think, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure. I've watched a couple of videos here on YouTube of people coming here to investigate. Out of all the videos I watched, I, I never seen anybody except for the paranormal investigators on like the, it was like a phone video communicating with and that windmill. They had, it was they, spinning. It they was, had it spinning fast. I thought it was going to like fly off with how fast. Like yeah. it was going so quick. And then they asked it to stop and it, and stopped. it stopped. And it wasn't just one time. They asked it to stop twice. It was pretty incredible. So what we're looking at right now is it's called the concrete pool right there in the middle was a lifeguard are you sure this is it yep. i mean this this is huge yeah. and you would think there'd be maybe like 10 at least 10 lifeguards it was only one lifeguard for this whole entire area so right over there there used to be a huge building and it said owned by virginia hotel or what was it what did it say No, it wasn't a hotel. They're thinking about maybe putting up another building there. It was huge. Is it snowing? No, it's, looks like, it's slow raindrops. It looks like snow. That's so sad about the little boy dying in here. One thing I find a little bit strange is the fact that it was children that had tragedies here, you know? And it's not just children that haunt this either. There's also been a, a tall figure mm -hmm. that they've seen. Check this out. This is pretty awesome. So when they were excavating the bodies from the the burial ground the archaeologists they found a really tall native american that was buried there and they believe that that's the tall figure that has been seen here it's like what, a seven foot tall like a seven yeah. foot tall now there was a gentleman that came here i was mentioning this story <gasps> dude there's somebody over there there's somebody over there in the little pavilion. I just seen somebody peek their head around the corner. And it was not your light. I don't know, maybe I'm, my mind's playing tricks on me, I don't know. an apparition we're gonna try to reach out to that apparition that can be seen as well as the little girl that haunts the swing area that may have been the little girl that was killed by the by the truck so I'm using an app that is from the same developers as the other app that I'm always using now if you want to use either of these apps that I'm using links are down below and it's available for Apple as well as Android I use this app not long ago and it was the first time ever that i had used it it's actually pretty scary so there's different channels that you can use here and you can add like a reverb effect and what's really cool too is that there's a visual we'll, we'll get to that in a second so let's go ahead and communicate with whatever spirits here what's the name of the spirit that is here that occupies bucket number 10. mike, mike? Is it Mike? Or did it say nine? We'll go here to visual. That's kind of cool. Ooh. So your name is Mike? It's Mike, right after I asked again. Mike. Why are you here, Mike? What's your story, Mike? I want to know. I'm mad. Mad? You say mad? Mm -hmm. Do you? Did, what did that just say? We're here know. with you, or we're here? I don't know. Right here I'm with you. Was that you? No. Not me. What is that? So. Who's here with us? Sean? Shawnee. 
The shiny. Oh, wow. Whoa. Terror. Terror? Did they treat you like a terrorist? Wood? I would just let it talk. I'm not going to say anything. Let's walk. What was that? What, 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 what? Yo, what? There was what? just. What? There was just shadows. What? Literally all shadows? around us. I no -uh. swear there were so many just shadows no. right here around you. I oh, have, it has God. to be a camera. I don't know. I was up by your face. <laughs> wow. Come on, let's walk to the swing. We're not here to disrespect you at all. Look, I can, my hand won't stop shaking. Dude, Tiffany, I, I don't know what Tiffany saw Dude, right now. The entire. But she's shaking really bad. Everything around you was just like, I don't even know how to explain it. What spirits were around me right now? You don't want to talk anymore? Dude, there's something behind me. Come on. Did they just say it. Omar? That said my name. Leave? Omar, leave? Do you want me to leave? Yeah. That's what it said. All right, I'm leaving. I'm not here to disrespect you at all. Do you want me to stop communicating? Leave. It said it again. Do you want me to stop communicating with the spirit box? Yes. God, I'm scared. Yeah, I don't know you why. should turn it off. Leave again. All right, I'm turning this off. So. I told you I felt this whole time. I'm normally cool with the spirit box. Yeah. I love hearing it. I think it's very cool. For whatever reason, I felt like it was just not a good idea tonight. Really? Yes, I like I'm not lying. You know I'm always down for that type of stuff. It's crazy because Tiffany did say something about not using the spirit box. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! What? What? what, what? The, the, a bat just flew out at us. You see that? Uh uh. Right here. Where am I oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. That flew out at us? Yes. Wait, don't wow. they say spirits can communicate through birds? I swear I've heard that before. I don't even like feel safe anymore. No. No. Do you want to leave? I'm like, I don't know, I just feel like that was like such a bad idea. I legit felt uncomfortable doing that spirit box communication. But you know what, like, that's why you're respectful. You ask permission, if they say no, if, if they say leave, you leave. You don't provoke it. It's one thing that I teach, never provoke spirits. Said my name, it, said Omar, leave. It didn't say for you to leave though. I want to show you something cool. Let's try to um, not be scared right now, okay? Let's get our mind off what we're, uh, you know, we're we're very fearful right now. Now there's a, a haunted house on the property like that they use for Halloween. I'm gonna take you there in the morning if we end up staying the entire night. So we have to adjust this and get everything to the front, but we do have a, a blow up mattress that we're gonna lay on and sleep. Uh, I'm down to maybe go to sleep soon. Um. So tired. You want me to turn these lights off right here? No. No? <laughs> I think those lights should stay on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, have I seen that? I feel like a kid. Face. Huh? You see that face? Oh yeah. It's like a little skeleton face. You know there's one on right here too, right? That spirit box just like that freaked you out? Yeah. I've I've barely used that spirit box before, but yeah, there there's like five different channels, and I think we caught like some whispering in All there too. All that whispering was, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it is we caught, but it looks like there's somebody back there still. I know. Look. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up. Today when we, we were driving around, Tiffany, I, this was off camera, she heard what sounded like a knock and it was outside of the car. I'm gonna do a behind the scenes video for my members. If you wanna get more exclusive content, get to know me better, first of all, it's free to subscribe to my vlog channel. I did a behind the scenes video here, but I also did a an exclusive nighttime uncut video here for my members, so. If you are a member, thank you so much. If you're not a member, thank you so much also because I do appreciate 
either support. In fact, if you really want to be a little extra, go follow me on social media, especially my brand new Facebook page where I'm posting some exclusive content to you. There's something tapping on our car right now. I can actually hear it. Hear it? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's not the car. Maybe it's outside. What? what? Oh, it sounds like it's like right here at the at the bumper. Sounds like somebody beating on a drum. This is the stupidest idea. <laughs> I say we stay. I mean, of course we're gonna stay. We'll be fine. I'll lock the door. What's the door gotta be locked? Being gotta do with a spirit that can just like come through the door. Wanna do a spirit box session in no. here? You wanna get punched in the throat in here? <laughs> it literally, like, you're like, oh, let's not disrespect what they say. It literally said, Omar, leave. And you're like, you wanna do it? It didn't door? ask me to turn the spirit box off. It just no, it, it did. Just... You even said, do you want me to turn it off? And it said yes. You know what's really crazy? So I, I asked the owners, hey, um, do you mind if I did a spirit box session here? I don't think very many paranormal investigators that have come here have done it because he didn't even know what a spirit box was. Um, and I told him, and he was like, yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Just as long as, you know, there's no disrespect or you agitate any of the spirits, you know, because they don't want to make this place haunted in a negative way. That's what happens when a lot of paranormal investigators come to one place. They end up bringing witch, you know, witch boards and, and doing a lot of weird things. And they end up conjuring negative energy. This place has positive energy. It's still scary. There is some sadness here because of what happened in the past. But there's nothing that's evil that lives here. Paranormal. That's why I feel nauseous. Huh? I think that's why I keep feeling nauseous. It's not that it's a, a bad or negative energy. I just feel like there's just... Sadness. Yeah. Like there, okay. there's a lot of sorrow. I mean, just think about it. I mean, there's some kids that lost their lives here. You know, parents were mourning here. I mean, this was... It's kind of a sad place. And then not only that, but the previous owners that had the, the amusement park, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this place, and then seeing it close down because they couldn't afford to keep it open, you know, things like that. Like, there's, there's a lot of sadness, you know, but there's, it's happy now. The new owners, man, they're taking such great care of this place and and they're they're being blessed. I will say that, they're being blessed because they're doing, with the money, they're, they're doing a lot of good, like I mentioned earlier. So we're gonna get back here and go to sleep. It's exactly two o'clock in the morning already, or 2.10 in the morning. I mean, that's what, is that why the it's still doing happening? it. Oh my God. What? Dude, something something just like blew on the window or something. I don't know if I caught that on video. Oh my God. You know when you go up to a window and you go like this yeah. and it fogs up? That just happened right here. Oh my gosh. Yo, I just got like a cold chill seeing that. It's like right, oh, I hope I caught that on camera. That was cool, whoever did that. They're watching us. They're watching us for sure. I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep. Not because I'm scared, but I wanna catch, I wanna catch things. Wow, that was really, really cool. So, this is what we got going on here. I think we're pretty comfy. I'm comfy. Yeah. I was gonna try to record us sleeping into the night, but the camera that records all night needs to be plugged into an outlet and are you cold? I don't know. I just can't stop shivering. Yeah, she's shivering pretty bad. <laughs> but I'm going to keep my camera close by in case we hear any knocks. It was really, really cool seeing out the outside that it was like a fog like hit the window and it disappeared. It's like it got close and then left. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But anyways, if I don't see you again. Again, it's probably because we left. So I hope we make it through the night. I we'll think... still see you again. We'll just be at a different location. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. What do you mean, hopefully? I'm going to have my camera close by. If I hear anything, I'll pick it up. We'll record. But we're tired, 
and we don't want to think negatively. So I will see you in the morning. All right, fam, so we did make it through the night. My biggest complaint was that it's cold. My dummy self decided to sleep while it was cold. I thought we'd be fine, just kind of cuddled up next to each other. It was so cold. We'll ask Tiff here in a second. She's getting ready. Um, I almost got stuck in the mud right there, too. It's really muddy because it's raining. Look at my car. Our windows got, like, really foggy, and they're not foggy anymore because I went and turned on the heat. I couldn't take it. It was so cold. But Tiffany said that she's seen, what was it? There were like prints? It was only on this window and that window. There was right like, where we were at. Yeah, like little whatever. And then right here, I swear it says like TV or something. I said, no, I did, I did see that. It said TV. But that's where we slept. It got so cold last yeah, night. It was like freezing. Yeah. But yeah, it was on, these windows were fine. And it was only on just these two windows. And I was too cold to grab anything to look at it and show it. It's, I don't know what, nine in the morning? Getting close to our time here. We're not done just yet though. I just did some, some drone shots. Check out my SS Omar Gosh TV. I've had it for a little bit, but it's kind of hard to carry around because it's so bulky, but this drone is amazing. Those amazing drone shots you've seen came from this guy. It's got a built-in screen. You don't have to hook it up to your phone. It's the Phantom 4 Professional Obsidian. And yeah, this camera is amazing. Really good for low light drone shots. That's why I got it because I'm usually out and about at nighttime. I was hoping to get some nighttime drone shots last night, but yeah, I wasn't able to. You, you almost want to get it at the right time when the sun is almost down because it's like pitch black out here. It was so dark. And good thing we had some flashlights. I do want to take you into one of the haunted houses. We're going to explore that. It's called Lake Nightmare. And I'm going to just kind of show you around a little bit to give you an idea of the Halloween. I mean, there's a lot of people here during Halloween time, but the Halloween scare like haunted houses that they have here i mean even the colleges are involved in, in scaring people the drama clubs pretty cool we're gonna go check it out right now in a second i did turn off the lights here too they were on i can't believe you don't have a jacket on. well i haven't made it that far in my life yet do you want to explore lake nightmare yes. with me i do okay we're gonna go do that let's go oh no this looks kind of scary during the day this is called lake nightmare and from what I was told, there's a line like all the way to those trailers come October. We're gonna go in here too. I almost wish we did this at nighttime. We had enough going on last night. It's clowns. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Oh, is it clowns right when I walk in? No. Why are you lying right now? It's no clowns. It's no clowns at all. Just don't look to your right. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, it's so muddy in here. I wonder if, like, the kid spirits from over there come over here and play. Probably. Oh, this looks like fun. Oh! <laughs> You have no choice. Oh, God. <laughs> He's smiling at you. Everywhere. Cool. 
there's like a torture room what's in there i have to check it out oh wait we have to keep going All right, we gotta go through here. Oh my gosh, this is a torture room, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, you go through that. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. No, it's like a, it's a hidden room, like right, for the employees. Maybe this one? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh! Oh, look, a picture of the lake. Oh, that was the hotel thing. Yeah, that was the hotel that I showed you guys and that, Wow, neat. Yeah, that's the pool that the boy drowned in, and that's the building that they're talking about maybe bringing back. Hey, look, there's a bird nest up there. Where? Oh, cool. Yeah. It keeps going. All right, fam, so I'm going to go ahead and start concluding this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more footage, be sure to head over to my vlog channel. There was, uh, it was, it's probably like, it's not old, but you know, I usually up, I, I take my time to upload these kind of videos because I want to edit them and, and really see and, and look and see if I, I hear anything, see anything in my footage. So it takes a little bit longer to edit those kind of videos. But if you want to see more footage, I did do a few more videos here on my vlog channel, but they're more like behind the scenes kind of videos. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to my vlog channel. Right here is a pop-up. If you want to check me out just hitting 900,000 subscribers on that channel thank you so so much if you're a big part of that 900,000 uh, which is a huge family for me I never in my wildest dreams ever even imagined getting a hundred thousand subscribers so thank you for the overwhelming amount of support and love on not only this channel but that channel I'm gonna go ahead and let you go big shout out to Lake Shawnee and I'm gonna leave some links down below for them if you want to visit here be sure to check them out in October too very cool place I'm not gonna show you everything here but they do put on a great scare come October all right gotta go for now before we leave give me a kiss